Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends at Yarnspirations.com. Today we have a Crochet Ruana available in four different sizes and this looks amazing and this is using Karen Sprinkle Cakes too. So let's get started. So this is the Crochet Ruana and it's available in four different sizes. We have extra small all the way to medium and then you have large to extra large and two and three extra large and four to five extra large. And so what we have is that we have the ball counts for that and you'll find that in the more information of this video there's a direct link for this pattern. So you're going to you need a size M as in Michael nine millimeter crochet hook in order to play and some stitch markers in order to do this. So it's a really quite a simple pattern. We're gonna start off in the very back of the Ruana and and then we're gonna come on up and then what's gonna happen is that it's gonna divide. So I did a really kind of a, a diagram here. So what we have here is that we're gonna start off in the back and then eventually once we get to a certain measurement we're gonna then break off and do one side and then we're gonna come back and break off and do the other side and then you can just add, add your, your tassels or your fringe at the end. So it's really quite a, a very simple pattern in order to do. I've done a little bit of a, a sample here so that you can see and honestly this is a really quick and easy pattern to be able to make. So here's what the pattern looks like and what we have is half double crochet slip stitch, half double crochet slip stitch and I'm thinking to yourself okay the slip stitch it's never gonna get anywhere in the project but because you're using such a big hook and thick yarn it really does uh, travel up quite nicely here. So what you're gonna notice is that it's got some nice texture to it but because of the way it's done it doesn't have those uh, typical lines of crochet so it looks really quite easy. So we're gonna start off with the different measurement for different sizes that you have and I'll show that to you in the pattern in just a moment. But it's really just a matter of going back and forth and the yarn color changes on its own that comes out of the ball and it's really quite easy to work with. So let's take a look at the different sizes here on the pattern so that you're able to follow it if you're needing to download it too. So when we go to look at the pattern you're going to notice that there's difference of colors here and those represent the difference of information. So depending on what size you wanna work on is gonna be the choice. So the first number that you see is extra small to medium. And the next one is large to extra large. And then the next one here is two to three extra large. And then the final one here is four to five XL. So you just have to decide which one that you're going to do and just kind of go with the highlighter and highlight the one that you want to be able to do. So every time there's a decision to be made you'll notice that it comes into play as we go. So we have to watch for that and that's the only thing that you have to do. So today I'm gonna do the extra small with you here to medium but if you're doing other sizes just follow this information and the back and, the, and how it works out ends up being the same anyway. It's just you just gotta watch your digits in order to get the right size. So let's uh, grab our crochet hook and let me show you the pattern one more time and then we're gonna play it together. So let me give you a demonstration of the pattern. So what happens here is that in the row below things happen and you have to be conscientious to where it happens this time. So each time you do a row you have to watch. So you can see that this one was a, sing a slip stitch. The last one was a half double crochet. So because the last one's a half double crochet when I go to turn it I'm going to chain up one and I'm going to slip stitch into the first one. And then the next one is going to be a half double crochet. And then the next one is a slip stitch and the next one's half double crochet. So what happens in this one here is that it's opposite to what's in the row below and that's what creates these nice textures that you see here. So it's just really easy way to follow it. So when you go to work on this you're going to notice that your brain is automatically gonna switch between the two stitches automatically but when you go to first start you have to think about it but then you end up uh, uh, looking for it anyway. So what happens is that you just keep on going back and forth in order to get the size that you want and I'm gonna show you some tips about that and then I'm gonna bring back this sample because it's actually the extra uh, small size and then I'm gonna show you how to go from here then over the shoulders and then down the front side uh, for both sides of your body. So let's uh, begin right from scratch and let's uh, grab our crochet hook. It's a size M as in Michael and I substituted just so that you know it and as in Nancy a 10 millimeter because I have a hard time finding the M size and that's something that you can decide for yourself. So without further ado let's uh, grab up our yarn now and let's begin. So I'm going to begin we're gonna create a slip knot and you have to do the size that you want. So remember the sizes that I showed you. So I'm gonna do an extra small to medium and it's chaining of 87 so the other sizes are either 95, 99 or 103. So it's just a really kind of an easy way to be able to do this. It is an odd number just as you're aware and if you wanna do it for a child size you may have to improvise but we're gonna start off with the back. So you're just gonna chain to the number that you want. It's either 87, 
95, 99 or 103. And you're going to do that and then stop when you get to the size that you have and then we're gonna begin row number one together. So I'm just gonna show you a small sample here because what you have to do all the way across is the same. So you're going to uh, go third chain from the hook. So just count it back. So one, two and three. Just turn it over and get the back hump only. And the chaining of two that I, I just skipped over, this really does not count as a stitch and it never counts in this particular pattern just so that you're aware. So you're going to half double crochet third chain from the hook and then the next chain you just slip stitch. So just pull through and through and then the next one is half double crochet and the next one slip stitch and you do that all the way across your chain. So half double crochet and slip stitch and the way that it works is that the very last stitch is the same as the first stitch. So the first stitch which a half double crochet. So when you get all the way across the last stitch should be the exact same stitch as well. So please go all the way across your chain and then meet me back here and then I'll show you how to advance into row number two. Just as a word of caution, what I would do is grab a spare piece of yarn and after you finish row number one, do not turn your work and I want you just to slide this yarn in just as a holding point to indicate to you this is the right side of the project. So later on it's gonna tell you you need to finish off on the right side or the wrong side but how do you really know? If you put this strand in right now, this will always be the right side of the project. So if you turn it around now to begin the other side, you technically are looking at the wrong side because of where the stitch marker is holding. So make sure you get that done. Now I'm going to advance now just going back and forth. You won't see it. This was an afterthought that I had because I originally put it into the one here so that I could recognize on where to stop in order to do this. So turning our work and doing row number two. So we finished off and did a half double crochet. So when we go to do the next one we have to do exactly the opposite. So we chain up one and it's gonna be a slip stitch on top of this half double crochet this time and then the next one will be half double crochet. So you have to do kind of what's opposite to the row below and that's what creates the texture. So it's half double crochet and then slip stitch, half double crochet, slip stitch and you do that all the way across and everything works out. So the very last stitch is going to be the same as the first one. We started off with a slip stitch so the last one will be a slip stitch too. So that would be how you would do that. So we're gonna just turn our work and go one more row just to show you. So you turn your work, the last one was a slip stitch so you, this time you chain two, does not count as a stitch and you do a half double crochet into the first one. And then the next one is a slip stitch. Next one's a half double crochet and you do that all the way across and it's creating that beautiful texture that you see within the Ruana. So if you started off with a half double crochet, the last stitch is gonna be a half double crochet. So what you wanna do is that the colors will change on its own out of the ball and you wanna get the entire things back and forth until it measures 28 inches from this side all the way to the top. So it's just a straight shot up and it's 28 inches and then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna bring my other sample back because it is the width that I need in order to demonstrate that for you but I'm not going all the way to 28 inches because it's just a demonstration today. So without further ado, let's uh, bring back this other one here. Get your 28 inches, put me on hold and then come back when you're ready and then we'll begin from there. So when your distance gets from 28 inches from the bottom all the way to the top, this is again is a demonstration, you have to finish on the, on the wrong side row, on the wrong side. So because I put my stitch marker in, I know that this is the right side. So when I go to finish, this stitch marker should be on the underside of the project. So when I go to turn over, it says in the pattern, it says starting on the right side, which is when I turn it over, it's now turned up and it will show you the right side and then we continue the instructions. So this is when we're gonna start breaking off and we're gonna do one side of the body and then we're gonna then do all that and then come back and do the other side of the body going down towards the front of you. So let's uh, begin to do the next row in shaping the back neck and we're gonna begin the first section now. So in the pattern it shows us shaping the back neck and we're gonna start on the right side and we're gonna start the first one and it says chain two, one half double crochet in the first slip stitch which is right on top and then we are going to do um, a slip stitch in the next half double crochet and one half double crochet in the next slip stitch and you wanna repeat this 18, 20, 20 or 21 times it depends on the size. Here's the trick. If you take this number and times it by two, so 18 times two gives you 36 
just like that and then all you have to do is now add an extra two which is the very beginning. So plus two gives you a total of 38 stitches. So what I would do if I were you is that I would count 38 stitches in from the edge, put a stitch marker and instead of having the repeat and count this like a, the repeating time of 18, 20 or 20 or 21, you can do that. So then the 20 is times up by two which gives you 40 plus two which is then 42 stitches. So this one would be 42 stitches to cross over and then 21 times two gives you 42 plus two which is 44. So what I wanna do is that I wanna measure out by counting the number of stitches to where I need to be instead of having to think about counting and once you get it established then is that you continue to repeat the front edge then uh, 28 inches so it goes down towards the front of the body and then we come back and do the left. That's how hard this thing is. It's actually really quite simple. So let's uh, just measure out that uh, edge first and then we're gonna continue from this point. So now I wanna take an opportunity to measure out. So I told you that for my size I need to get a total of 38 stitches. So counting the first one, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So right when the 38 is I wanna put a stitch marker because that's where I'm going to stop. Right there. So, so instead of having to worry about counting all that distance just put a stitch marker because you know now where to start and where to exactly stop. So then when we come to do the left side what we have to do is then we have to skip uh, so many stitches. So let's do that next. So in the pattern it says to skip so many stitches so it could be either 11, 11, 15 or 15 depending on the size. So we're gonna skip that so right where we are so we skip the next 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Go to the 12th okay and if you're doing the other sizes it will either be go to the 16th one and that will be where we go to start doing the left side and we're gonna start right here then and continue back and forth from this point. So the goal is is that this area that you have here is where the back of your neck rests into and the rest of the project then folds over top of your body. So let's uh, continue on. So for the right side we're just gonna continue what you already know and we're just gonna chain up two and then we're going to slip uh, half double crochet into the first one Okay, so we're just maintaining and then we slip into the next and you're just maintaining the pattern exactly as you know it. So because I had you mark the stitches in advance which I highly recommend is that you don't have to worry about counting here. I can sit and chat with you because I'm gonna let that stitch marker tell me when I need to quieten it down because I'm about to finish. So I just keep going and my mind is telling me to do the half double crochet or slip stitch and I kind of gotten used to looking at the pattern as well. So you will as well when you are looking at it to know which stitch to put in where. But if you just go every other one like my mind is telling me to then it's just quite easy and I can sit and watch TV and not have to worry about it. So it takes a little bit of practice to, to get used to switching out your stitches every other one but it's really not a deal breaker and I think you can whip this off pretty carefully. So what you're gonna wanna watch for just in case you didn't get it right you'll notice that there will be an imbalance or something and it'll be very obvious to, to you. It means that you might have put two half double crochets in a row or two slip stitches. So just watch for that for any signs that something doesn't look right. So I think I'm coming up to the stitch marker. There it is. So the stitch marker right there is where I want to finish like so. So I'm finishing off with the half double crochet which makes sense because remember what I told you when we started a row if it starts with a half double crochet it ends with a half double crochet. So then I just turn my project from this point here and I begin to go up. So uh, because I finished with a half double crochet I'm only gonna chain one, slip into the first one and then half double crochet into the next and I want to just continue back and forth a total, uh, a total distance of 28 inches from this point. So right for the back of the neck going all the way up then it will be another uh, 28 inches and this will go relatively quickly because you're not going all the way across your project you're only going through a portion. So please do that and then what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna leave that with you and then you can fasten off and then I'll make sure that you get started on the left side 
of it which is basically pick up where I've already showed you where to mark and then we continue the other side. So it's really that simple to be able to play. So once you get the one side done up to your 28 inches then that will be the basically the marker and that is what you're gonna want to get this one to. So we're gonna come back to it and uh, we're gonna then start. Remember I had you already mark it and it was skipping over a set number of stitches. So what we're going to do is that you just join a new piece of yarn and because it's a Ruana going over top the stripes won't match each side of the body and if you look at the model it doesn't either. So we're just gonna join it with a slip stitch here and we are going to begin then this side in order to make it work. So when we go to do this side here, the left side, we are going to then um, continue the pattern as you know it and then we're just going to chain up two and we're gonna half double crochet into the same one okay and then you continue the pattern as you know it. So the next one is going to be uh, slip stitch and half and slip stitch and half and you do that back and forth on this side. So you're gonna continue this side until it matches the other side. It's gonna be total of 28 inches but what I would highly recommend if I were you either count the rows or lay it down and making sure that both sides are getting to the 28 inch mark and then fasten off. So it's really quite an easy pattern to be able to do. So what I'm gonna just do next is that I'm gonna show you how to do the, the tassels or the fringe work at the end because that's uh, kind of like ma what makes it really quite nicely uh, nice as well. So just continue to go this distance and then meet me back here and we'll do the quick review of the tassels. So let's quickly review the tassels. It's on the back edge. It's also on the front edge of the two sides that are come in the front. So what we need to do is that we need to take our ruler and we need to measure out 11 inches. So here is the strand here and what I would do is make one strand your model. So just there's one and then do another one and just lay it down with it. I don't know if this is 11 inches I'm just letting you know and you wanna do three strands. Now don't be scared if you have extra yarn left over and it's a different color you can always put a different color in here in order to really make it look interesting to match. So once you have this done all you're just gonna do is take the three strands and just fold it in half and then you're gonna come back to your project and just equally space it along the back. It doesn't have to be every stitch and what you're going to do is just go right in and then put the three strands on the hook and then pull this whole chunk through that loop like so. Now you'll notice that see how the loop uh, is behind this strand? It matters. So you wanna be very consistent about where that appears. So if you like looking at this side here when you're wearing it just be conscientious of it. So just how you do it, it matters where it goes across. So if you like looking at this side it's up to you. To me I think when you're looking at the project you should look at that. So in order to get that you have to come in from this angle and then continue to do it again all the way across. So don't keep switching around your project. Be consistent as you work your way across and in this case I'd probably go skip one and go to the next one, skip one, go to the next one and add your tassels like that. So this is how to do the crochet Ruana. It's actually a really nice design. Um, it's really quick and easy and it looks quite fashion forward as well and I think that you can enjoy it. So until next time have a great day. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.